Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today we are making shrimp ceviche. Super fresh and vibrant. You want to reach for this recipe whenever you want to impress your dinner guests with this Latin American cuisine. So let's get started. To get this recipe started, we're going to begin with chopping up the vegetables we'll need for our shrimp ceviche. Starting off, you want one large jalapeno pepper that we're going to finely dice along the length and then return to those slices and chop them up into small bite-sized pieces. Our goal here is to chop down each ingredient to a nice small size so that each scoop of this dish has all those flavors. We're gonna follow that up by dicing up two small serrano chilies, dicing those finely as well. And we're also gonna need two Roma tomatoes that we're going to finely dice. Next up, we're gonna use one large cucumber in this dish as well. So you wanna slice that along the length first. And then what I like to do is stack those discs and then finely chop them into small bite-sized pieces. Now to add some savory flavor, we're gonna need half of a red onion that we're going to finely dice and set aside as well. And finally, we're gonna need about a handful or a quarter cups worth of cilantro that we're going to finely chop as well. And those are all the main vegetables and herbs that we're gonna need for this shrimp ceviche. Hey everybody, I just wanted to drop in real quick to say I appreciate all your support by watching the video thus far. And what will really help me out is if you hit that like button too. It helps boost this video's performance on YouTube so that more people can see this recipe. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button too, and make sure you also tap that bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. Now let's bring a large pot of water to boil. And into the pot of water, we also wanna add the juice of half a lemon, followed by one tablespoon's worth of kosher salt. Mix these ingredients together until the salt dissolves. You don't want to end up with a roiling boil, but you want to aim for more just between a simmer and a rapid simmer. And once your water reaches this stage, you want to create a vortex in the water by spinning it around, and then you want to add in about one and a half pounds worth of peeled and deveined tail off medium sized shrimp. When possible, you want to go for fresh, plump shrimp for the best results. Look for ones that have a firm texture and a sweet oceanic aroma. We're going to poach these shrimp for two to three minutes, constantly whisking this or until all the shrimp are opaque and bright pink. And once they reach that stage, you want to transfer the shrimp into a bowl and refrigerate that while you set up the rest of the ingredients. For all the vegetables and herbs we just chopped up, we want to transfer those to a large bowl. This will really help with the mixing process. And now onto our poached shrimp, we want to roughly chop them up as well. As I mentioned earlier, we want to ensure that each spoonful or scoop has all the flavors of each ingredient inside of it. So it's really important to dice up your ingredients into fine bite-sized pieces. And once they're chopped, you want to add the shrimp to the bowl as well. Now to add in some acidity to further cook our shrimp, we want to add in half a cup's worth of both lemon and lime juice, following that up with half a cup of Clamato juice, which you can normally find in the juice aisle in your grocery store. Give these ingredients a good mix, just to ensure that your ceviche is fully coated in all the juices. At this point, you want to add a quarter tablespoon's worth of kosher salt, as well as a thin sprinkling of black pepper to the bowl, and give the ingredients a good mix. And once you've had that initial mixing, you want to add in the remaining quarter tablespoons worth of salt, as well as another couple thin sprinklings of black pepper. Keep mixing this and taste testing along the way until the flavor is just right for you. Now we want to cover this bowl and refrigerate it for 30 minutes to an hour to allow the flavors to mix and blend. This also allows time for the shrimp to quote unquote cook in the citric acid. Once your ceviche has a time to marinate, now we want to peel and finely dice two large avocados. 
you only want to dice these avocados right before you're ready to serve the ceviche, so just keep that in mind before you start this recipe. But once your avocado is nice and diced, you want to add that to the bowl, give it a good mix, and at this point, we're ready to transfer our shrimp ceviche into your bowl of choice. Presentation is key when serving shrimp ceviche, so you always want to aim for serving it in a visually appealing manner. Use a decorative bowl or even individual serving glasses, and I like serving this alongside some crunchy tortilla chips. This recipe yields about 12 servings, so there's plenty to go around for a mid to large size party. And just like that, you've made shrimp ceviche right at home. Enjoy the tangy, refreshing flavors and have fun experimenting with different ingredients. Try adding some diced mango into the shrimp ceviche for a different flavor profile as well. You want to eat this the day it's made for the best result. Oh, and one more pointer, you can try adding some garlic and ginger to the poaching liquid to infuse that flavor into the shrimp as well. But when you do try this recipe at home, be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine or hashtag Chef Vic Cuisine so I can see your great takes on this dish. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 3, Upgrading Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. And feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make shrimp ceviche. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button for me. It's one of the best ways to show support for this channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Victor and welcome to Chef Vic Cuisine. It's my goal to create new recipes for you each and every week that you can make at home for yourself, your family, or your friends. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button too. And sharing is caring, so if you enjoyed this recipe and think someone else will too, feel free to share this with all your family and friends. And stay tuned for next week where I bring you an excellent recipe that can be used either for a side dish or the main course, my Boston clam chowder. Really easy to make and the flavor is amazing. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let's grow together. By subscribing, you'll be supporting me and my channel, allowing me to continue creating content that you love. You can always check out my recipes on my page now. YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so let's see if they're right. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.